Hi Shakers, in this video I'm going to show you how to configure your Raspberry Shake to share data with the Raspberry Shake community. And so once you've succeeded in getting the Raspberry Shake internal web interface open, uh, either through the actual IP or by visiting raspberryshake.local, uh, then getting things set up is really easy. Uh, this is the summary page. Uh, I want to point out a few things here before we continue. The first one is that this first line right here shows the model of the Raspberry Pi computer that we're running. And most of you will be running three Model Bs. Uh, however, we do support the Model B, the Model B+, Plus, the two Model B, uh, the Zero, the Zero W, the Zero WH, uh, pretty much every Raspberry Pi model developed by the Raspberry Pi Foundation. You'll see that the, the system's running. I'm running software version 0 0.8. This is the actual IP address of the Raspberry Pi computer. Uh, then the next section shows you about internal processes for the Raspberry Shake. You see that the data producer and the data consumer are both running. This is normal operation. Data forwarding is off. I'm going to show you how to change that today. And the server connection is disconnected. And so we're going to change things so that this says on and this says connected. The system time, you'll notice that that is in UTC, which means universal time. Pretty much everything in seismology is done in reference to universal time. The disk usage is about 55. Here's the CPU temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. And then we've been running this unit for about 50 minutes. So. The next thing is to turn data forwarding on. So we're going to come up here into the settings section. I'm going to choose data forwarding on. This question is pretty much always yes, unless, you've, uh, unless you're using the Raspberry Shake with a geophone sensor uh, that you've provided that hasn't come from us. So Brandon is my name, Christensen. You can put in your email here. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to set the location. Now, you're going to see a little bit different on your shake the first time because I've already practiced and come in here and done it once. But to choose the location on the map, you'll hit this button. And then you'll be able to move the map with the mouse. And so we're going to choose the location of Raspberry Shake. And now it's very important that you choose the location of your Raspberry Shake exactly where your office or house is. And the reason that it has to be exact is that we use the data that you share with the Raspberry Shake community in a web app that we call EQView. And this is uh, the output of the system that is automatically detecting the locations of earthquakes. And so the earthquake location is very dependent upon having uh, knowing the exact position of all the Raspberry Shakes in, in the network. And so here's a big event that happened in the Gulf of Alaska that was 7.6. And then here's the waveforms on this side from Raspberry Shakes around the world. And so our offices are located in the country of Panama, very close to the border with Costa Rica, in a town that's called Volcan. And so I'm gonna zoom in here and Yep, that is the exact location of the office. So I'll just click here. And we can just click over here. Yep. And then hit done. The map will update. It'll automatically calculate the elevation. Um, you can manually change this if you'd like. The floor is, we're on floor zero. That's correct. And the number of floors in our building is one. It's just a one story building here in Panama. So the next step is to save and restart. That'll request the password, and the default password is my shake. In the manual, we, I'm sorry, the default password is shake me. Uh, that's S H A K E M E. And in the manual, we describe how to change the default password to something that's personalized and more secure. So hit OK here. Now the unit is going to reboot and so if we're patient here a moment
Okay, so now we're back to the uh, default screen where this just is an overview of the system. You'll see that data forwarding is now on. We're not yet connected to the server. This will automatically update here in a moment. and It'll take just a, a few minutes to establish the server connection. You'll notice that the position of the Raspberry Shake is now printed here where the latitude and longitude and the elevation. And then if we refresh, let's see, just a moment or two and then the server connection will happen automatically. While we're waiting for that connection, oh, there it is, okay. So we're connected, and the next step would be to come over here to uh, Station View. And what we'd expect is within, say, 5 to 15 minutes, we'd want to see a new triangle on the map here in Panama for that station that's just been added. And so you'll notice that the Raspberry Shake station name is RC740. So if we come to the station view direction here and zoom in, we'll be looking for that new Raspberry Shake. So there it is. We'll click there. And you'll see that the data has already started to flow into the server. And everything is good. And so that's fantastic. So we got another station online here in Panama. In addition, if you visit our Twitter page, for every new Raspberry Shake that comes online, we create uh, a little announcement. So a new Raspberry Shake, 1D in this case, Earthquake Monitor is now online here in Panama. It gives the name, and then it gives other people a link for where they can get their own Raspberry Shake and join the network.